The fear wasn't only in Egypt, uh, it was mainly the government, yeah. you know, who or, or orchestrated, uh -huh. you know, that fear and, and uh, if, if we're here, we'll be protecting the Egyptian people, we would even have that stability, not only of Egypt, but the whole region, as long as those Islamists are not there mm -hmm. at all. And uh, some Arab countries listened to this and they took it literally and they are in support of what was said. Even in some Western countries and in the United States of America, they bought that notion of, yes, as long as you keep Islamists in general and uh, Muslim Brotherhood leadership in particular away from power, the stability uh, would be there. But let me tell you something, Ahmed, you know, uh, that's not even my, my opinion, mm -hmm. but also reading and analyzing and listening and hearing many scholars, not only Egyptian scholars, not only Arab scholars, but European scholars, American scholars, uh, with their analysis uh, to what is going on and that fear of uh, the Muslim Brotherhood to take over and, and, and be, be in power. I can mention. Uh, some some uh, uh, institutes here. It, locally here, if you're talking about Hubert Humphrey Institute, you'll find some people are saying something about uh, the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, if you're talking about George, George Washington University, uh, if you're talking about names, George Spicito as a professor at Georgetown uh, University, uh -huh. if you're talking about uh, Neil Chomsky, if you're talking about uh, um, Ajami, is uh, a professor, at uh, 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 New Hopkins, uh, there, what they are saying, what they are analyzing, what they are telling us, uh -huh. what they are teaching us, as a matter of fact. Even one of them, uh, while I was driving to come to this show today, was interviewing M MPR uh, saying the following. <laughs> All of them saying the following. This is fresh. In here, yes. As fresh as it is. Yes, uh, 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 as well as those people uh, yeah. also. Uh, what you're afraid of. Yeah. Muslim Brotherhood, first do not compare them with the extremist Islamists. Yeah. Like what happened in Iran, or even what happened in Egypt uh, uh, late 80s and early 90s. Muslim Brotherhood never be involved in such a thing. Those militant in Egypt, Muslim Brotherhood were not involved in what they did, not only to the Egyptian population, but also for tourists who are coming from mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's one. And it has been recorded, you know, uh, in, 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 in the Egyptian uh, documentations and, and, and so on and so forth. Second, uh, uh, Egypt is not like Iran. Atmosphere is different. The environment is different. Uh, Iranian uh, revolution uh, by Khomeini uh, will never be replicated in Egypt. You, you cannot even compare uh, both of them. Thirdly, um, when you think of, of, of the Muslim Brotherhood, and the reform uh, uh, new things they do have now, they are not hungry for power, mm -hmm. okay? As long as Egypt is run by a democratic way, sharing power and having the Egyptian constitution to govern the life of people, having social justice, having Islam to be taught in the most moderate way to help people, to serve people, that's what they are for. We can even remember one, one thing happened, you know, in Egypt when we had that very severe earthquake in Egypt. Government did not do that much. It was the Muslim Brotherhood who came to the street to help people, uh, bring medication to those who are injured, bring food and supplies and well, so on. Well, you know, yeah, they are having uh, in, a, in, a, in a social aspect of Egyptian life and someone might say that's how they get into uh, peoples and once they get in power they'll change. But I think a major change and shift in their ideology because the Muslim Brotherhoods were uh, as it was uh, founded they were say we are the Islamic party but now they, they, they change that in their chart or whatever we, we said we are a Islamic party. So we are just representing a view and how Islam can control our life, not the, the view. And that's a huge change of their ideology. It's a huge change, and they consider themselves as, as average Muslims 
who do care about the religion of Islam to be taught and be implemented in the most moderate way ever, here to, to, to help people. And, and, and it wasn't only that, but also when they, they renounce all of those militant violence. violence in Egypt. Running for election many times for the Egyptian parliament, as long as the box of the election would govern our life to say whether Muslim Brotherhood members to come to the uh, Egyptian parliament or not, they are abiding by that. They welcome that movement. They asked for it for so many years. It is just the democracy, democracy in here. And, and even, Ahmed, if you think about, you know, that fear we do have in West or here, even mm -hmm. in the United States of America, where this fear is coming from? It is mainly coming from the Egyptian regime reports, analysis, and assessment coming from them to us here, saying the that here is what from is going the dictators. on. Yes, if we if we're out, hear what you see. Hear what you're going to see. Hear hear those people who love, hungry for power, you know, to govern you, and they will they will tell you it could be another Taliban, it could be another Iran, it could be another uh, Hezbollah, you know, in Lebanon, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. But 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 think about it this way. How about Turkey? Yeah. How about the Turkish They always say, was well, going to be Iran or Hamas. What, what? How about Turkish model? <laughs> what am okay. Yeah. And, and, and I can tell you two, two, two things in here, and, and also from my reading and analyzing what is going on in Turkey as well. When Arbakan was trying, and he was the prime minister for a while, yeah. but with that, you know, uh, Islamic uh, teaching and so on and so forth, uh, not enough to accommodate for many things in Turkey, not to give that comfort to the European country, to the United States of America, even to some uh, Islamic countries, he did not succeed 100% to bring Islamists uh, to Turkey to govern. And he was gone. And he was gone. But when uh, Raghav Tayyip Erdogan and his people around him, who came also from the Islamic background, Simone. they understand what is going on, not only in Turkey, but in Europe, in this country, in here, and in the Muslim world and in the Arab world. Say, Islam there not to govern, Islam just to share power and let people decide. And that's why when they were elected to govern uh, the Turkish uh, 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 country there, look at what they have accomplished. In 10 years. At the economic level, educational level, social level, that wonderful reform, even at a political level, the, the international relationship yes. is just. It, it, they, they are doing fabulous job, you know. So why you have been always emphasizing that Iranian model, Hezbollah model, Afghan model, Taliban model, and you forget about Turkey? Egyptian but, people can do like Turkish. They did. can choose whatever what. But you know uh, what, what? What I want you to to talk about is. Tell me the difference between an average Egyptian, he's not an uh, adherent to a Muslim Brotherhood, and a Brotherhood from their background, their aptitude, culture, religion. What would be the difference? I, I, don't, see, I don't see any major difference at all, Ahmed. You know, it, it, Islam is there, and the teaching of Islam is there. For and a long teaching, time, Islam is there for... And the teaching of, uh, of the traditions of the Prophet Muhammad is there. But... Who can teach? Who can preach? Who can bring people to the right way of Islam, to the moderate way of Islam, to reforming and reshaping the community? We need a leadership. If you bitch in and say, okay, we're a group of leadership of the Muslim Brotherhood, and we're teaching, we're preaching, we're willing to coordinate and cooperate with any power in Egypt as long as we're doing for the welfare of the 85 million people who are willing to do so. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with this? How about their political, you know, are you afraid of political Islam? I mean, I, I want to see when we say we shut them off from the political process, they become militant. And then we get splitting to Taliban and Qaeda, all that. I, I don't know why are we afraid of bringing them in and see what they can do. And they mature like everybody else. 
You know, once people get involved in, you know, when you look even on, 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 on the Iranian revolution, it was so radical, so extreme in the beginning.